don't think it's acceptable that that we have to play. Do you think it's do you think it's getting to the point where it's going to It's it's too much. Today was too much because we played 120 minutes less than than three days ago, and we had to play against a team that didn't travel because they're from London and that had five days to wait waiting for us and thinking about our game. There was there is no excuse for the game not to be to not be tomorrow. It's it's not acceptable. For all of us as a team, that's the way we feel. Do you think things will change? I don't know. It looks like we don't care because we, we, we've said it many times. And uh, it's not about wanting to, to be favoured. No, no, no. It's just wanting... It's, it's about health. I played 90 minutes today, me, Kevin, Phil. And I wasn't fine at all. I wasn't fine, I'm going to be honest. I wasn't. I was feeling my left hamstring. I was feeling my right calf. And uh, so this is not... This is not fair for Man City, this is not fair for us. When I say Man City, maybe other clubs went through it. I'm just talking about our personal experience. So I just think that they have to, to pay a bit more attention to, to these little details because we represent England in the European competitions and uh, it's important for England to give points to, to this country for other teams to qualify to the, to the Champions League, to the Europa League, to the, to the Conference League. So they need to pay a bit more attention to these details. As well as a physical physically draining it was for me emotionally it would be very difficult for all the players obviously yourself the mm -hmm. what, what, what was it like on Wednesday you know, how, was it, was it, how hard was it to get to the top of all this game well emotionally it's our job it's, it's football and yeah it was tough uh, first night I didn't sleep much second night you sleep a bit better the third night you, you sleep almost almost uh, all, the whole night but it is what it is, it's football, it's our profession and we have to deal with those emotions. It's the physical part that I think it's, it's a little bit less acceptable. Yeah. I think there's some emotion in your goal celebration as well, is that a domination? Well, yeah, because it was a frustrating night for, for me, a uh, frustrating week for me personally, for, for the whole team, because we wanted to go after another historic season and we can still go for it, but, but, but it was a big disappointment to get knocked out of the Champions League. And the way with the team performed on the pitch, I don't think we deserved it, but it's football and yeah, you have to get out of it, that's, that's, that's it. You took us through the penalty. Well, yeah. Uh, so basically I had two options. I, I could have, I could have, uh, I had in my mind one of the sides, I'm not going to tell you which, and the middle. And I was, I was waiting, I wanted to shoot the second or the third penalty to see the reaction for, from the keeper in the first or the first two penalties. And he moved early, that's why I, I thought middle was good, because in moments of pressure the keepers, 99% uh, of the times they move, but, but he, he, chose, he chose not to move and fair play to him, well done. And yeah, it is what it is. Did that delay like, the ball coming back in? No, well, my, my, for me, no, because my decision was made. I was, was going to play. I was going to shoot the penalty in the middle. So for me, he plays. Well, it's like a family. They're, they're, they're like brothers. The way they they, su they support each other when when, when someone misses, it's, it's unbelievable. And the guys were were unbelievable with me this week. And uh, yeah, we stick together and we go for it. Now we have the FA Cup and the Premier League to go for, and we're gonna do our best to, to win those titles. Did you feel that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Def def well, definitely, definitely. From, from, from the manager to to, to the players to all the staff. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.